Hi everybody and welcome to Starland Tourism's YouTube channel at Freedom 55 Adventure. Uh, we had an overwhelming response to our first video on Porto, so we decided to go back and show you the neighborhoods. And as I promised, we would go into the Chiquita Banana areas that the company built up. And this first part is in the Las Palmeras. This area was for the executives of the Chiquita Banana Company. And they're huge houses, beautiful, beautiful, huge yards, beautifully landscaped. And um, this house is for sale and it's in the mid 200 uh, thousand range and it is not titled so we're not realtors we're not going to get into the specifics of it but we did decide to go and take a look at this beautiful home But again, beautifully landscaped, huge yards. And again, I made reference to the, the neighborhoods in our first video on Porto. This house used to be open all the way through. That's how they were originally built. But the newer owners and since these houses were built, put in a rental suite underneath. And it's a very cute rental suite. So if you're in the more in the so if you're in the market for a house that needs a mortgage helper, then this is the one for you. This is a closed in workshop underneath the house. And by the way, underneath the houses they park their cars, they hang their laundry as you can see. You have their hammock set up and it's really cool underneath the houses. I mean cool as in temperature. This is the little suite. This is the bedroom area. A wash basin area. And the bathroom. And again I apologize my voice is a little rough. I sound like I've been smoking or smoking and uh, singing in a jazz bar, but it's just a cold. <clears throat> so the laundry facilities are downstairs underneath the house. There's been a lot of renovations done to this house over the years. Hot water on demand. This kitchen has been redone. It's it's really beautiful. I just love the raw edge countertop that you see in the kitchen. I believe these are nine or ten foot ceilings. And inside, there's I don't believe there's any air conditioning units that I've seen. They have the ceiling fans and they have the slatted windows. And it's, it's actually very comfortable inside. And this was a hot day. Nice huge shower. Now this, the wood for these houses was brought down from Oregon and I believe it was red cedar. And they were used because they were um, an excellent wood building material because they're bug resistant. Beautiful gleaming hardwood floors. And please, if you're thinking about buying a place in Panama, make sure that you look into what a titled property means and what an untitled property means. I'm not going to get into that, but I'll let you guys research that. The pros and cons. These bedrooms are huge. It could fit a king size bed in here and this is just one of the what would have been one of the children's bedroom back in the day in the 1920s when they built this house
Lots of working room in this kitchen. Lots of cupboard space. This is the outside. We have a covered garage. And this yard just goes on forever. Beautiful big trees. Now this house is the second house that we looked at. And it is in the high 300s. There's been a lot of renovations done. And this fenced area is inside the property. The property line extends down to a creek behind the, the um, yard here. So they fenced a yard within their yard. And there's a large area if you wanted to put in a pool, a large pool. This is a suite underneath the house that they enclosed in. It was really cute. I really, really like this. And I just love the outdoor area they have. I could just imagine my rope lights in there, my barbecue, having some music going, having a glass of wine. And those big trees down there. You see that was more like skinny pine trees. That's part of the property. It's a huge property. Beautiful house. A renovated bathroom. This is quite cool actually in the apartment when I was in there. And again, this is peop where people park their cars, do their barbecuing. Another little shop area, your storage area. A little workplace. And this is the enclosed yard. We're going up into the house from the back now. I'd stick a pool in there for sure. And again, this is the last Palmas area. This is the executives. These were the houses where the executives lived. And Chiquita Banana made sure that these executives lived in some pretty beautiful houses. This has been renovated. New windows put in there. Master bedroom, bath, granite countertops. Nice big shower. I just love the gleaming hardwood floors. Closet. More closet. This is the living room area. You can go 
go and sit on your big deck. This is what we would call our heritage homes in Canada. Lots and lots of storage. Some more granite countertop and a bathtub. Bathtubs are a rarity in Panama. Usually they're added after because people don't usually put them in houses. Everything is showers. This part of the house is where the suite is. That's been filled in. used to keep the under the houses open for airflow as well so that it would keep the houses cooler so now we're going through Las Palmas so we're going to show you the other houses in the area This is the upscale part of Puerto Amoeas. Again, huge houses, huge yards. Really nice and clean and well kept area. There's a few houses for sale in the area. And I can turn you on to some of those realtor, realtor sites if you want. Just leave us a comment, like and subscribe below and I'll send you that information. This house on the right is for sale. A new wall was just built. A couple palapa areas, so you could do your barbecuing and have a great party out underneath at night. Again, very clean, well-kept yards. And if you keep going straight, you can see the ocean. Again, we're just heading back through Las Palmas. So now we're in Bella Vista, which was for the middle management. These are new houses built in that area. And the houses are kind of the same design as in Las Palmas, but they're smaller. And the area again is clean and well kept. San Jose is for the lower management and this is just a little neighborhood that again was for the Chiquita Banana management 
employees. It's a clean neighborhood as well. Some of the houses, like this one on the right, really need some work. And this is heading into the downtown area. The older downtown area. And the park on the left here that was developed with the help of Chiquita Banana way back when. And again, the houses, the wooden houses on stilts, that's pretty much the characteristics of the Chiquita Banana homes. You do see some newer Panamanian homes that have been built up over the years. And this is Carmen. This is where the dock workers lived. A lot of them were duplex built homes. Some of them have been done up really nice, and some of them need a lot of work. This is the old airstrip back in the day and we decided to show you what it looked like. It's still actually being used. A few flights come in here. I heard it was the presidential helicopter will come in every now and then. But it's not like an airstrip where it's being used like every day like David or anything like that. There's the old Chiquita Banana Dock. And the Carmen area you can see. Again, beautiful, beautiful coastline. We also did this video because we wanted to go a little slower in the vehicle so you guys could get a better idea of what things look like. Now this is a road that we accidentally went down to go to Coco Beach, but it still got us to a residential development. There is not a lot of homes built in this development. There seems to be a lot of the land sold. There is a lot of land still for sale. And I believe there was about, I think there was 11 or 12 homes that were built, like this one. There's a new management company that took over this development. Apparently, 
apparently there's going to be a restaurant opening next month. And this is a pool, a jacuzzi that they have on site. It's part of the clubhouse. I guess it's the clubhouse restaurant area. Right now there is no food being served there, but apparently soon. And this is a walk out to the beach, and the beach is beautiful. I just love the palm tree lined beach. Beautiful waves. Again, you can also go to the internet and you can do some research on Cocoa Beach. And here's an aerial view of the development. Not a lot going on. And they're hoping to turn that around. Again, guys, I want to say thank you for all your support. Um, you guys have been amazing for getting us on the map with YouTube. So please like and subscribe and we'll see you soon.